What's going on guys, today's video we're going to be doing the bleep test, the 20 metre bleep test which is obviously one of the requirements to get in the British Army at the moment. Normally we do the 2 kilometer run but uh, at the moment we're doing the bleep test so I thought what better way than to give you guys advice than to put myself through the pain of doing this godforsaken test. So that is what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do the 20 metre bleep test, I'm going to talk you through my mindset as I'm going through it and give you guys some tips and tricks on how you can better perform on this assessment so make sure you stay to the end of the video so guys if you are new here my name is kyle i used to be in the british army and i like to make videos to help support you in your aspirations and in going into the military so that is why i'm doing this test today so give me a like give me a bit of support and possibly subscribe if you feel like um this video gives you any benefit whatsoever without any further ado let's get on with it so guys what i'm doing now is just showing you um the little app that I'm using, I'm using it on my on my Mac at the moment, but you can use this on an iPhone as well. It's called BT Lite, um, and this is how I'm setting the bleep test up. So I've got my starting cones here, which starts at zero meters, just so no one thinks I'm cheating. So it's it's at zero meters, and that's in line with that cone there. And then if we quickly come down the other end, which is obviously 20 meters away, we have got the 20 meter line. I'm going to stick another cone here, so that is the 20 meter line. That is just to show you guys that um, I'm not cheating you. I would, uh, I'd like to think that I've got some integrity. So I'm just showing you that it is 20 meters. Uh, and my best score at the moment is 13.6. So I'm gonna try and push for 14 for you guys. So bear with me. I'm gonna show you what I look like at the end of doing this. So this is um, what you guys should look like when you've done a bleep test. Hanging out of your ass. Um, is the best way to describe it. So we're going to crack on with it now. I'm going to video it on my phone um, and my laptop is going to be connected to the speaker. Um, I might speed some of it up throughout it just so you guys don't get bored. Um, but I will show you the, the final score and let you hear the final score so you know that, um, that I'm doing it correctly. So let's get on with it. Okie dokie, here we go. Three, I'm going to keep my AirPods two, in while I'm doing this. One. I'm going to drop my hat down. Stage one. So we had a bit of a technical error, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover, guys. My AirPods did not connect for some reason, so when I got to the bottom side of the of the bleep test, um, you couldn't hear anything I was saying, any of the things I was telling you guys to do or anything like that. So I thought the best way to do this is just to do a little voiceover and sort of replicate what I was talking about throughout the bleep test. So I've sped it up a little bit so um, that you're not sat here all day with me uh, and you can get the points and the advice um, as quick as possible and then get yourselves away. Um, so... I started off obviously nice and slow on level one. Um, level one's around about nine seconds between each bleep. So it's it's pretty much a fast walk um, slash little jog. So what you want to do is firstly set off with a little jog just to feel out the pace. Um, that's what I do every time each level goes up. So every time it goes beep, beep, beep and turns to a different level, i.e. up to level two, level three, level four, um, I step off a little bit quicker. And the reason that I do that is because um, I'm a bit unsure of the time um, between each one, so I need to sort of feel it out and gauge how quick I need to be running for the rest of that level. Um, so that's um, the first bit of advice I'd give you. Push off a little bit quicker, especially when you start getting to like level five, six and stuff like that. As soon as it pings over and goes level six, step off a little bit quicker, push yourself, get to the other end. If you get there a little bit early, that's fine because then you know um, on the next shuttle, how, how much you can slow it down uh, or speed it up, whatever, whatever the case may be. So you can feel out that level um, and then keep on going and you should be able to sort of hit the beep every time after that, um, especially if you're not very tired. Obviously, as you get through the levels, this gets a little bit harder. Um, when you start pushing up past level nine and level 10, 12, whatever it may be, whatever you can do, um, it gets a little bit harder because you start getting a little bit tighter, obviously. So that'd be my first little bit of advice. My mindset throughout this whole thing um, was to actually try and pass my, my best effort, which was 13.6. Um, but as you will see, as we get to the, uh, towards the end of the video, um, things didn't go quite to plan. Um, I'm not sure if that's because I'd just done a run beforehand or if it was because uh, my legs were a little bit tired. I don't know. But um, we are going to be doing this again because I will beat that, that score. Now, the second thing... And the second little bit of advice I would give you is the turning. Um, I've spoke about this in previous videos. The turning makes or breaks it. If you turn like a bus, which you'll see me do a couple of times here, it's sometimes quite hard to, to turn correctly. Um, if you turn like a bus, so what I mean by that is you go around in a circle, um, you're going to slow yourself down. What you want to try and do is plant that rear foot onto the cones 
and then push off off that foot as well and off the other foot. So you're turning as quick as you possibly can, which is gonna obviously take, se not seconds, but milliseconds off off your sort of shuttle time, which in turn is gonna save your energy, which is gonna allow you to go further and further. If you keep on turning really slow, you're gonna slow yourself down. So they're the two main bits of advice. And the, the last bit of advice, which is probably um, quite obvious is, just to keep going um, until you get physically taken off by one of the members of staff at the assessment center. If they take you off, that's fine. Do not give up until they tell you, right, you're done. Just keep on pushing, keep on pushing, and keep on pushing until you get there. You only have to get, on average, around about 6.5 these days, so everyone is capable of, of getting to that Stage score. Just 11. keep on using the tips that I've given you um, on the overrun events, and your fitness will build 11, up. One. 11, 2, 11, 3, 11, 4, 11, 5, oh shocking, oh shocking, 11, 6, 11, 7, 11, 8. I'm not happy with that. Oh my God, that was absolutely shocking. Normally get around 12, 12, 13. God, Whew. I've just came back from a little bit of a run with the, with the learners like, but I wasn't expecting to get 11 there. I was missing a few beeps throughout. So, so yeah, this is what you should look like, guys, when you're doing it. I'm hoping, just by doing this video, even though I didn't get the best score in the world, um, a lot of you can probably beat me. Um, but just by doing this, hopefully it gives you a little bit of an insight into how you should be running it, the mindset from the start. Take it nice and slow, but make sure you get to the beeps, making sure you're turning correctly. Um, and just don't come off until the instructor says, or oh, if you fit like when I was doing that there, I, w I wouldn't have physically made it to that beep. So I took myself off, but it is what it is. I'll do another one of these where I will break that minute, uh, that level 14 record. But that uh, was shocking by me. <laughs> right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I appreciate your support as always. Catch you later.